إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق, فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Indeed, all praises are due to Allah and Allah alone We thank Him, praise Him, repent to Him and we seek help and refuge in Allah and with Allah from the evil of ourselves from the evil that is within ourselves and from our shortcomings whoever Allah guides nobody can misguide and whoever Allah allows to be misguided nobody can guide and I bear witness there is no God to be worship there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and Allah alone and I bear witness that Muhammad is his final prophet and messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam يقول تعالى في كتابه الحكيم إنما المؤمنون الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم Indeed the believers are those when Allah is mentioned to them, their hearts tremble, shake, and are fearful. وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا And when the verses of Allah are recited on them these will only increase their iman their faith their belief in Allah وعلى ربهم يتوكلون and upon their lord on their lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they rely Fully and completely. ويقول تعالى and Allah also states in the Quran. وعلى الله فتوكلوا إن كنتم مؤمنين. And on Allah rely. And on Allah rely if you are believers, if you are true believers. 
فالتوكل هو الاعتماد على الله في الأمور كلها باطنها وظاهرها هو اللجوء إلى الله والاستعانة به وتفويض كل أمورنا لله عز وجل ولله ترجع الأمور The tawakkul The reliance On Allah Is when We trust Allah With, with all our affairs And we put Our Complete trust in Allah Without any doubt And without associating anyone With Allah التوكل عمل قلبي Reliance Only happens in the heart Yes, we take the means And we rely on Allah But in the heart The reliance should be dedicated to Allah only Just like the Iman We believe in Allah only That's why we say إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ We do not say Ya Allah Na'buduka wa nasta'inuka No, we do not say We do not say O oh Allah, we worship you And we seek help in you Because by saying this We did not Truly exclude everything else This can be also interpreted that Oh Allah, we worship you But we can worship others beside you But when we say Iyaka, Iyaka Only you, only you, oh Allah We worship nobody else Wa Iyaka nasta'een And only you, O oh Allah, we seek help from nobody else. Only you, we make dua to, we supplicate, and we call into nobody else. Only you, we trust as the only Lord. The only one who can take care of our affairs and nobody else. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explicitly commands all of us to rely on the one who is the ever living. The one who never dies The one who never tastes death The one who created time and death The one who controls time and death The one who controls everything The ones who owns everything The one who overpowers everything As Allah stated in the Quran وتوكل على الحي الذي لا يموت and rely rely on the ever living on the one who never dies Allah سبحانه وتعالى ويقول تعالى فاعبده وتوكل Allah has paired 
the worship, his worship, our worship toward him with our reliance on him, with our reliance on him, this explains that the one who believes in Allah fully must rely on Allah fully. فَاعْبُدْهُ وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَيْهِ Worship Him, worship Allah and rely on Him. Only if you are a believer, only if you understand what Tawheed is, not to associate anyone with Allah. The more we know Allah, the more our faith becomes unshakable. No matter the situation, we have only one Lord to turn in, one well-known Lord to turn in, one God to trust, to believe in, and to turn to all the time. And he is able to fulfill his promises. He is able to do whatever he wants, anytime he wants, the way he wants. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ta'ala. قل هو الرحمن قل هو الرحمن آمنا به وعليه توكلنا The before last verse of Surah Al-Mulk, the Dominion say He is Ar-Rahman He is the entirely merciful We believe in him and on him we rely. We rely strongly, fully, completely, very faithfully. And on Allah, the believer should rely the believers must rely وَمَا لَنَا أَلَّا نَتَوَكَّلَ عَلَى اللَّهِ وَقَدْ هَدَانَا سُبُلَنَا وَمَا لَنَا أَلَّا نَتَوَكَّلَ عَلَى اللَّهِ وَقَدْ هَدَانَا سُبُلَنَا And the prophets, the messengers of Allah stated very confidently Why shouldn't we rely on Allah? And He has guided us. He has guided us to the right path. He has guided us to the straight path. He has guided us to the path of light, of wisdom, of truth, of justice. The path of success. The path of peace. وَكَانَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ يَدْعُو بِدُعَاءِ الْخُرُوجِ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ كُلَّمَا خَرَجَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ بِقَوْلِهِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ عَلَى اللَّهِ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. The Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم used to make this dua 
this supplication, this invocation, every time he leaves his house by saying Bismillah in the name of Allah. And anything that does not start with by the name of Allah has less and less baraka. So he says Bismillah in the name of Allah which means in the name of Allah I do my life in the name of Allah I die in the name of Allah my life revolves Bismillah Tawakkaltu ala Allah I rely on Allah and on Allah alone. Wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah. And there is no strength and no power except by Allah. I am weak. Everybody is weak. Everything is weak except the one who never dies. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Qawi, Al-Aziz, Al-Qadir, Al-Qadir Al-Muqtadir, Al-Jabbar, Al-A'la, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Such a beautiful dua, such a wonderful reminder when we leave our houses Although we also rely on Allah inside our houses and everywhere else, this should be the behavior of the believer toward Allah by only relying and putting his trust and her trust in Allah alone. And when the believer utters this Blessed words, it will be said, Yuqalu hudita wa kufita wa wuqit. Because you said these words sincerely from your heart, with which shows your sound tawheed, your sound belief in Allah your strong belief in Allah, you will be guided because you ask Allah for guidance. You will be sufficed because you ask Allah to be sufficient for you. You will be protected by Allah because you ask Allah for protection. And Allah never ever returned anyone who return to him sincerely, faithfully. And when we are sick, we seek medical treatment with the mindset, with the belief that only Allah cures, not the doctor, not the medicine. Although we are commanded to seek treatment, to take the means and rely on Allah, the only curer, the only healer. Allahumma rabban nas, adhi bil ba's. Ishfi anta shafi la shifa'a illa shifa'uk La shifa'a illa shifa'uk Shifa'un la yugadiru saqama O Allah, O Lord of the people Remove 
take away the harm, the sickness, the disease, the pain, the suffering. Ishfi and shafi cure, kindly cure and heal. You are the curer, you are the healer. La shifa'a illa shifa'uk. There is no cure but yours. There is no healing but yours. Nobody can heal. Nobody can heal except you. Shifa'un la yughadiru saqama. We seek a cure. The sick people seek a cure that leaves no disease, no pain behind it. Amin. May Allah cure all our sick people. The reliance of Allah, the reliance on Allah is in the heart. The place of the taqwa. The place of the taqwa, as Allah said, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ يُسْرًا وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated that whoever has taqwa, whoever is mindful of Allah, Allah will make a way out for him. Allah will make an opening for him. Allah will relieve him or relieve her. And whoever relies truly on Allah, whoever relies fully and completely on Allah, Allah will be sufficient for him. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ حَسِيبًا وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ وَكِيلًا And Allah is enough. Allah is enough for us. Allah is sufficient for us. If Allah is your wakil? Is Allah take care of your affairs? We don't need anybody else. Although it is permissible to seek help from others than Allah, if if they are able to do it. And even that, we must believe that all the khair, all the blessings, all the relief comes from Allah alone. It comes from Allah alone. And it is definitely shirk. It is association and we don't want to do this. We don't want to associate anyone with Allah by asking others than Allah to do things only Allah can do. We are not allowed to ask people to send the rain down simply because only Allah can do this. We are not allowed to ask people for cure and healing because only Allah cures and heals people can help with treatment and medicine but they cannot cure they cannot decide that only Allah decides and whatever Allah decides whatever Allah decides to happen will happen and whatever Allah decides not to happen will not happen And whatever Allah gives is the best. 
وعسى أن تكره شيئا وهو خير لكم وهو خير لكم you may love something you may hate something and actually it's good for you وعسى أن تحب شيئا وهو شر لكم and you may love something and you desire something but it's not good for you and Allah with his mercy with his knowledge with his power because you rely on him he does not grant you what you desired for because he loves you because he protects you because he guides you because he never ever let you down because he never gives you up he wants you to be successful he cares about you so the believer take the means he study hard he work hard appropriately and properly in a halal way and rely on Allah fully and completely and he or she is satisfied with the results he or she is satisfied with the outcomes after taking the means the best way in a halal way the maximum to succeed to make things happen the right way we rely on Allah and on Allah alone and we are happy and satisfied and content with the outcomes of things this is the reality this is the reality of tawakkul this is the truth about relying on Allah alone لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله is one of the treasures of Jannah and when we say it when we leave our houses we should reflect on that we should recharge our iman our faith in Allah that oh Allah we understand and we know and we are very well very well aware that you are the one you are the only one that we must rely on in all conditions in all conditions and you are the only one to grant whatever you promised you are the only one to admit people into Jannah you are the only one who grant life Al-Muhi Wal-Mumit you are the only one to cause people to die when their time is up you are a Samad you need none and everyone needs you therefore everyone must rely on you and on you alone if if we are believers and may Allah make us strong believers may Allahumma ij'alna min al-mutawakkilin wa la taj'alna min al-mutawakkilin oh Allah make us among those who rely on you who rely on you sincerely and do not make us from those who rely on others on others than you O Allah Allahumma khtim lana bis salihat O Allah give us very good end O Allah give us very good end and grant us and all the Muslim mercy cure all the Muslims and all those who are suffering O oh Allah guide us and guide 
the entire humanity. O oh Allah, tub alayna, waghfir lana, warhamna. O oh Allah, forgive us, accept our tawbah, accept our repentance, and shower us with your mercy in this life, in the grave, and on the day of judgment. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين